Hello, Rhoda here. Welcome to my craft room. Uh, I'd been seeing in the last few months people doing puzzle pieces. And um, all of them are a little different from each other. And uh, the most recent people I'd seen doing them was Julie at Camilla Crafts and Gail Agostinelli. And they both made theirs a little different from each other. Uh, Julie's, she did uh, the punches, and so you use a one-inch punch, or I have, and a one-and-a-half-inch punch. And uh, you can really scale this to what you want, but you want it to still fit on your page that will be folded. And this is an eight-and-a-half by eleven uh, copy paper that I coffee dyed. Uh, so what uh, Julie had done is she really punched way down in there so she only had just a little bit so it really looked like a notch for a puzzle piece and Gail she was more shallow in hers and me I'm like in the middle <laughs> I kind of like this it it um it looks like a thumb pull to a pocket and I really like that idea so I kind of went about it like that well I made four of them. I think one went into a journal I gave away, but this one has a garden theme to it. And you'll notice I have them differently oriented. Like this one would go against the spine here in a book. Then this one will go against the spine here in a book. And this is more of a nature related uh, or specimen book. And then this one has a, a embossing folder of feathers and I kind of went over it lightly with some white paint and it has a little bird and then here are a couple other die cut feathers that's on there with it and so the way I went about it I've got two to show you here uh, how I did it the um, base piece here for both of them um, is four and three eighths inches square so I I'm pretty sure that's what yeah well I've got four and a half <laughs> you can play with it though you can make it a little bit bigger a little bit smaller as long as you have a nice frame around the outside that's all you're needing and this one has little tickets on it and I, I made a black uh, outline for it and the the center square here is four and a quarter inches on the inside um now what you want to do is how I, well how i did it was for the inside piece i'm going to punch first and i'm punching with the um larger one <laughs> good thing i looked at that yes you're punching with the larger piece so let's say this is top and bottom how we want it we're going to have the spine it'll, it'll be against the spine here <clears throat> so we're going to want to go on the three sides and I usually just judge it <laughs> I judge it and I go halfway and I think there's a mark on your uh, punches that gives you it the halfway mark so you can use that if you need to I'm going to eyeball it because it's just going to, ooh, there we go. <laughs> and we're going to go on the inside this one. And depending on what your item is on your actual paper here, you may want to judge where to cut it because you may want something to stay in the picture uh, because this is your top piece. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry my fingernails are pink. I dyed uh, coffee paper pink yesterday. And my fingers are the darkest thing that they're that turned out to be, you know. Bef <laughs> those papers are very light. <laughs> so, okay. With this one, I'm going to make this the spine area. And I'm going to do the, the punches on the other three corners. Or sides, I'm sorry. So... We kept almost all of his whiskers. Okay. And then we're going to take this one and cut it there. And I'm making these a little more shallow. I wanted more of my butterflies to, to stay here. Okay. 
we're done with that one now what we're going to do is we're going to take our base piece but what you probably want to do first is to glue it and we'll just glue around all the edges this was some of that pretty Tim Holtz paper I think I had an 8x8 pad and um, sometimes you didn't know what to do with the front piece so some of the backgrounds were really pretty and they they could be used in many ways like this could have been used as a background to these little tickets it kind of matched it perfectly all right let me get this and i'm gonna set him down and try to get him even steven i think that's good <clears throat> now we'll do our next piece get him glued up and of course i'm always thinking of a nature journal <laughs> Um, some kind of specimen slide journal. I, I'm fascinated with the specimen slides. So, I do have a piece I need to do a, a video on that I kind of come up with. And me and my friend, we've been, doing, <laughs> we've been putting them in some of our different books we've been doing. And they're really interesting. I had a lot of flips and flops. Okay, so now that we have that part done, we want to take our small punch and we're going to go inside of the, the big punch. That's why I said we want to put it down and we're going to judge it. And how in the world? I think you just have to judge. And I think when I went and did this before, I had to um, tell you what. I think the easiest way for us to do this is we will take something, make us a circle, and a pencil, and we'll kind of do it like that. Oops. And this may be the easiest way to make sure you've got your center. And it's the easiest way to go about it. All right. There we go. I hadn't planned to do that, but I think that works. Because before, I think I had to go in a couple of times. And you get your little light pencil mark to figure out there. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right this one lined up where is that pencil mark I got a shadow falling on it <laughs> I think I didn't get that one deep enough but I can go back with my eraser um, and then that one all right yes and then I can go back with my eraser and then you can actually go over it with your vintage photo or I could have went over it before uh, this one I doubt it needed anything but I might touch up the edges with uh, like the uh, like ground espresso color. Okay, now see, this is where my fold is at on my page. I folded this in half so I could show you. This is the wrong side for this one, but it would be the right side for this one. And so this would be glued down, and it could be glued in the very center or near the bottom, however you would like to do it. Then what it ends up being is a belly band. <laughs> it's a belly band plus it has an extra tuck. And I thought that was a cool idea for this. Um, I'm not sure that's how the other ladies uh, presented it, but it's, it's the way that I come up with and it holds a really nice size tag. And it, you can go up and down with it. It can... That's, well, it's the definition of a belly band. <laughs> but this part here, and the way you would glue it down, I should describe that. You're going to do the whole solid straight side in a glue line. And only glue line the corner, or I mean glue a dot on the corner here and a glue dot on the corner there. So you have this closed up. So this can't go all the way through. But you're still able to access 
anywhere you want to between this part and that part and the same on this side you'll be able to put one tag or several small ones in there all the way through there anyhow i hope you enjoyed that video uh, and it gave you some ideas on how to do this make it your own you don't have to make it exactly the way i did it it can be much smaller it can be a little larger um but uh do try to make these these are very fun um well thank you i hope you uh subscribe to my channel and uh give me a thumbs up please thank you very much